This is an Erasmus Plus project called Art is in the Air. Here is Plamen Velchev, our ex-student, who is now teacher of drawing and printmaking. Here are two students, Martina and Camelia, who will interview him. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, can you please tell me a few words about yourself? Well, uh, I was born in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Uh, I graduated this high school in uh, uh, 99 and then I, I was accepted in the US for my uh, undergrad and uh, yes, this has been an artist since. Why did you choose an art school? Well, as every kid, uh, as you guys know, every kid is like very interested in drawing and uh, dancing and singing, but uh, after a while, after a couple of years, I, I just kind of like, my love kind of grew more towards drawings, towards the, towards the visual arts, and then uh, that kind of pushed me in that direction. So I applied to the school, I was accepted, and that's it. That's nice. What did you do after you graduated high school? Why, uh, I applied to U.S. To a bunch of schools, and I was accepted in the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, which is the oldest academy in the U.S. And um, I studied four years, and I have a degree in printmaking. And I did uh, drawings, experimented, I did uh, mixed media stuff, uh, installations, so. And now, how has the graduating school or academy been for you? Well, I was fortunate enough to have like a very positive environment, which is very important for one artist. Yeah. One artist has to like grow in a very artistic, positive, open-minded environment. So I was lucky. I was really lucky in that direction. So uh, I had great teachers. I made great friends. Uh, so that helped me kind of uh, to create my own style my being as an artist. Why did you become a teacher? Was it in your job list? Yes, it was. Well, uh, I became a teacher because I remember when I was a student and uh, I remember how my teachers uh, kind of poked me up. They showed me stuff which nobody showed me before. So I kind of want to always want to give this part back to my students. I always want to give to my students the best and to give them 100% stuff which nobody can give them. So that was really important for me as a teacher. So that's why I chose this profession. And why do you think, uh, and what do you think makes a good teacher? Good teacher is uh, one who gives uh, constructive criticism, who gives a positive feedback, who believes in their students, who pushes their, his students or her students to give them their best, who doesn't think about their ego, which is very important. A good teacher is someone who really pushes students in a direction to get the best of them and to show them stuff which not can show them. That's a good teacher. What do you love the most in your job? Interact with my students. And uh, of course when they make awesome drawings and projects, that kind of like, you know, I'm very excited about that. So. And what part of your job is most difficult? Probably the paperwork, <laughs> which I think. <hate. laughs> um, what part uh, of your job is most difficult? The paperwork. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay, so have you ever regretted um, being a teacher? No, never. Never. I have never regretted that. Never. Not in one And there was a nice memory in your teaching career. Well, last year uh, I was given the chance to make a big mural with my students, which is a uh, problem which was uh, outside of our curriculum. So, we were giving the wall uh, on the side of the 
a school, which is about 36 feet wide by maybe 12 feet high, to make a mural about the school. So I took the opportunity and I got my team. I asked a couple of students if they're going to help me. And I turned to be like really one original mural, which I'm very, very excited and very proud of my students about. So that was like so far one of the highest points of my career. So, who is the person or visual artist who inspired you? Uh, well, there are many. There's no one person. There are many, many, many artists. There are many teachers. Probably like one of my, maybe one of my first teachers in the academy in the US. They gave me some directions which I never, I never thought I would achieve in my life. Uh, as far as artists, I look up artists all the time and I recommend that to all my students. Look up artists. I mean, the world is full of interesting people. Everybody has a different brain. That's very important. Everybody has a different imagination. So I get inspired with my colleagues too. Like, whether here or internationally, I look up artists. So this is like very long. Who is the person that supported you most? Well, I guess my family has been always they have always stood by me, also uh, uh, my friends, my best friends in the US, they supported me, I, they gave me like a tremendous support, which I will be always grateful for. If you could turn the time back, would you choose another path or not? No, no, I wouldn't, definitely not. Apart from school, what professional accomplishments have you achieved? Well, I've collaborated with international artists on the different projects. I have done murals uh, in US and in Bulgaria. I have about nine solo exhibitions and more than, more than maybe 40 group exhibitions. Last year I won an award for a young artist in, uh, in Plovdiv actually. And uh, my piece was uh, bought and it's going to be like in the private collection of the gallery. Uh, one of my pieces, a couple of my pieces were in a movie from, uh, by M. Night Shyamalan. That happened like maybe like 15 years ago. Oh. So I have about maybe three little girls and five model types in the movie. So, so the list, yeah, it's been interesting. Yeah, so, so far I'm kind of, I'm very motivated and I was lucky enough to uh, make these connections with people and to continue as a, by doing as an artist. Mm -hmm. Would you show us your best piece of art? Well, the best piece... I wouldn't say the best piece, well... I have a couple, I have a couple. I've done a, a mural in the US, which was uh, about a friend of mine who unfortunately passed away from cancer. So I was given an opportunity for a friend of mine to make a tribute to uh, my friend. So that was one of the biggest walls I have ever done. It was like the fourth, the third floor. And I got it with a friend of mine who is a street artist to do it together because we are very close. And uh, that, was, that has done a tremendous impact on me. First of all, because it was like a personal, because it was a friend of mine. So I get put extra, extra energy. It was kind of emotional. And second, because I just, I don't know, I, uh, I felt so happy after it was done. Like her mom, was very grateful and I don't know, just like a very, on the opening was just one big celebration. So that was like maybe one of my best, best pieces so far. And what about your future art projects? Well, I'm thinking about a couple of things. Uh, we'll see. Just uh, have to just kind of like keep drawing and kind of uh, keep thinking what I'm going to do next. But I have a couple of ideas, you know, when it's time to show you guys. What would be your advice nowadays, students? To be open to the world, to be open-minded, to uh, be themselves, that's very important. To follow their own path, to make their own mark. Because every, uh, when people, you know, I know that life is rough sometimes, their society, but just to find, to find their way, to find their path, their voice, that's very important. Because uh, even though, like, our communication, we're fortunate enough is through art, which is very important. And people 
get that. People see that. Like, no matter, like, sometimes, like, you know, some people are like, well, nobody's going to care, or why am I doing this? People will care, trust me. They will always care, they'll fight it. So I would suggest them, my recommendation is to be themselves, to make their mark, to make things which, is, which are important to them. To look around and be like, what is important, and I'm going to make it, just because I want to. That's what I would say. And that's it. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you.